everyone, I'm Caroline and welcome to my home on the hillside here in Wales and today I've got a whole video for you. Now I spent roughly £10, I think it's about um, £9.80, £9.90, perhaps £10.10. .10. I was adding up and I kept losing count. Now, apologies for the tin of paint here. I had a little mishap with my ring light, so I got a new one on order. So Mr. Amazon is delivering it in the morning. So until then, I have to use the one that I got. Well, I've got florist wire fixing it to my little arm thing that comes out. But it seems to be doing the job. Right, so let's get stuck right in and look at this. This is a quilt and somebody, a patchwork quilt somebody's made. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing, but you can see there, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't think this had even been washed when I got it, but if I can find in the corner here, you can see that they'd cut a little bit close to where they were sewing and it's come undone. So this was for sale in the charity shop for £6 and then that was crossed out and it was reduced to a pound because nobody wanted it. Well, I took the tags off and popped it in the wash Oh, there's a little bit there as well. So I'm expecting to find a few more little problems with this. But that's not a problem because I've got so much quilt here that I can do something with. I could either repair it, but I think it's going to be very difficult because of all. It's so close. I'm going to have to do some major work on this to repair it. So I probably won't. But I can use this as a basis for putting in the back of a frame and then putting something with it. It's got a real cottage, farmhouse, shabby chic. French shabby chic style to it. I think I could use this in a lot of different styles and there's plenty there to keep me going for quite a while. So for a pound, I couldn't resist that. I'll pop that down there and I'll show you something I got for 50p. Oops, everything's falling already. I got this birthday key name. I think that's a really obscure thing to buy. But I don't think so because... One day I'm going to do that and there's going to be hundreds of pounds hidden in the back of a uh, box. Hasn't been yet. Um, I'm going to use this. I'm going to cover the 18 or take it out. I may be able to take it out and then use this as a key. And I think that, if I age this up as well, it's going to look really exciting. And for 50p, it's a substantial size. If I grab very carefully without knocking my pile of paintings over. I have my ruler and it's about seven inches long. So I think that's great. I've also got, you know me and my freebies, a free bit of fabric <laughs> that came with it. I didn't buy it for the fabric, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. And I don't know if I'd be able to use this cellophane. It's badly scratched, but for 50p, I was happy with that. Now I'm going to disappear because I've dropped something and I have to go and get it. I'll be back. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's a ceramic heart. It's nothing special. It's just so cute. And mm, I've taken most of the sticky off. So you saw that cost, ooh, 10p. So look at that for 10p. I decided, yep, I'm having that as well. I really like it. It's a lovely colour. I'm not going to paint over that, I don't think, because I love spots. I love the colour. So I'm going to use it as some sort of embellishment, possibly. I'm not quite sure yet. It's finding the perfect situation for that. I do have an idea with a lantern, so it may be going on some sort of lantern project. Right, now this is probably 80s, I would imagine. Look at this. It's a ceramic dog. And he's been covered in this decoupage. He cost me one pound. I just love going to the thrift stores. You never know what you're going to find. And you find such good prices and such unusual things. I mean, look at that. I didn't go to the thrift store to yesterday thinking, mm, I know, I want a decoupage dog from the 1980s. <laughs> but then when I saw him, look. Whoops, look at that little cheeky chop face. Oh, he's lovely. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I could see if this decoupage will come off because... Some little edges are lifting. I may decoupage on top again, only with a really nice plain colour. I may paint it. So I'm not sure. I definitely will do something because he is rather faded. So he needs some sort of boost to make him look a little bit up to date. But isn't he gorgeous? And pound and let's have a look how tall he is. He's about seven inches tall. Right, put him over there. Sit. Right, I have... 
Now, you know me and my fabric. I don't like buying new fabric unless I really have to. My favourite place to get fabric is quilt covers and sheets from the one charity shop that I know that always sells bedding for a pound. And I think it's one of these outlets. I think the other shops have decided that these are never going to sell. You can have them and sell them for a pound. And then I pop along and get them. Now, look at this. If I open this out, it's double-sided. So you on the inside, you've got... This has been through the wash as well, so I can't show you the tag, sorry. It's got like a patchwork effect in gorgeous colours. Look at that, all the beiges and light browns. And on the other side, we've got check. So that is going to be perfect for some farmhouse type uh, decorations and crafts. So I just, what I usually do if I'm going to store these, a little tip here for some space saving. If you just fold this as it is, it's surprising how much bulk you're getting from the seams. So I'll take this right off the seams. I'll just tear along the seams. And then if you ever do that, have a look at how much you're throwing away. It's amazing. And that fills your cupboards up and you're never going to use it. So that will be going in the bin. And then I've just got myself some lovely big sheets of fabric. But that's not the only one I got. Now, this one is my favourite. Oh, look, you're a bit wonky. Let's see if I can straighten you up. There. On the one side, you've got this lovely, rich, jewelled purple colour with all these gorgeous florals on. That is just so pretty. But then on the back, yet again, it's double-sided, or two patterns, and look! It's like a pale plum with a lilac spots, and I think some of the spots are darker too. But that... If the advantage of buying something like this, if you're looking for two coordinating designs, it's sometimes difficult to come up with something that you're really sure about, but they've already done all the hard work for you. They've gone out, picked the designs that go very well together, put them together, and then you buy them and you've got yourself two matching fabrics. Or you can put them with something else, but I quite often end up use the, using the two fabrics together. Why not? So that, again, a pound. Pop that down there and I'll show you some little dinky things I got for... There's the camera. 49p. And it's this little cute bunny. He's absolutely gorgeous. It's holding up to the camera. But there, he's all textured. He's got a little cotton tail on the back. And this is not a toy. Keep out of the reach of children. We've got a lovely little bunny here, so... With Easter coming up, this is perfect for doing some craft with. I love keeping an eye out for bunnies. I'll probably buy bunnies for every month of the year and just pop them away then for the spring or for Easter. And for 49p, I think that's quite good buy. And also on the same shelf was this bird. Now, there was no price on this bird, so I asked and they said, oh, everything on the shelf is 49p. So there we go, so our little bird. It's China. And I think that is going to go absolutely perfectly with some sort of spring decor, with perhaps some twigs and some florals. I think you could possibly use it in a Christmas decoration. Not sure. You expect it to be a robin in a Christmas decoration, but if you're doing all white monotones or green and white, then I think that would be quite good there. He's probably going to get used a lot sooner than that, though, because spring is... Uh, well, spring is here now, isn't it? And so... He'll be in some of my spring decor. Right. Before, I'll tell you what. Before we do anything else, I'll show you some more happy mail I had. And this is off Laura again from Tinkering Twins and their mom. And I've got another piece of card with the photograph that her brother has taken of a duck. Look at that. Very spring-like, isn't it? They're beautiful colour ducklings. And after she posted me the parcel I showed you last week, she found more things she wanted to send me, so I've ended up with another parcel. Let's have a look what's in here. Look at this. I love gingham. It just, it just screams country, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. We've got this one, which is a pink one. So that is a gorgeous colour and a gorgeous pattern. I just love any colour gingham. And this is a gorgeous colour too. It's a lilac gingham. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with those. And actually, they go very well together. So they could be together. They may be on separate items. I'm not sure yet. I've got this, which is like a gingham ribbon. 
I'm not sure if you count it as buffalo check because I think that's got to be black and white, but I could be wrong. So I've got a lovely bit of that. And I've got a roll of blue polka dots. I love spots or stripes or gingham. I've got quite eclectic tastes and I like such a lot of things. It's not much I don't like, put it that way. So this has, does it have a, um, no, it doesn't tell me how much is on there, but it's a full roll. So that's going to keep me going in polka dot ribbon for a while and some little pieces of ribbon. Let's see if I can open these up. And we've got a thin blue and that I assume is counted as buffalo check because it is black and white. Got loads of these white pieces which are great. They're all about the same length so I can use them for tags or for tying things or for bows on bunnies. You know me and my bows on bunnies. That would be perfect. So let's pop all those out of the way. They're a bit out of control. <laughs> I pick them up and they just bounce back out of my hand. Look at this, I've got some beautiful little bows in shades of blue and it's like a copper effect ribbon, that. Very nice. And then look at this. Uh, 15 yards on this and it's brand new, so I've got 15 yards of pink polka dot ribbon. Let's see if I can open it up. Oop, I think we'll need the scissors. Ooh, careful around my tins of paint. And, oh, that's stuck on there. Well, 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 we're getting in a knot. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, again, I think that would be great for bunny bows and using on wreaths, anything. If you could put a bow on it, I'm sure I'll be able to put a bow using that. So thank you ever so much, Laura. That was really kind of you. I love it. You know me. She sent me these particularly because she knows I like spots and I like gingham. So thank you ever so much, Laura. That's Tinkering Twins and their mom. And now let's move on to more of the haul. So I got this. Let's clear some space here. Rubbish everywhere. There's my Mr. On. Oh, poor thing. Can you see where it's... Oh, if I show you on here, where to? Ah, there. It's sort of propped up there. You can just see the floral wire that's holding it in place. Poor thing, it's really not well. So this frame, I don't know how much this cost, but it was in the little bin that everything is 50p. So it has never been used, but there are scratches on it. There. So I don't think that's a problem because I can put some paint over the top, either completely paint it or distress it. Not quite sure yet. It all depends what project I'm putting in here. But I am thinking of using that one perhaps for my next video. For something Easter related. Hmm. I also got for 50p. Now this. Look at this for 50p. It does look proper vintage, doesn't it? It's not. I don't think it's very old at all. It may be vintage. Or it looks. But it could be an antique, couldn't it? A little bit more distressing on that. And it would look very antique. And a lot of these were made of plaster, the original ones. And so they had some chips and things. So I don't think I'll <laughs> bang it and make some chips. But I could put a little bit of darker paint on that. I don't know yet. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could put some cream paint just on some of the corners. And make it look like the plaster's showing through. Mm, yes, I like that idea. Very dusty, as you can see. So 50p. Well, <laughs> there's no way I was leaving that there. And then for my last 50p frame, oh, this. Now it's marked £2. They've given up and put it in the 50p bin. And this, it says Ariba, T-E-P. So I assume somebody brought this back from holidays, just a guess. But look at the age. And if I put that up there, can you see that? Now I don't know whether that is the actually recycled wood and used it. It wouldn't surprise me. Maybe it was some sort of craftsmanship, you know, somebody did it from finding rubbish around the place and then sold it to the tourists. But I love it. Look at it. And it's got the heart inside, which is made of two individual pieces. We've got all this ageing. I can take that off. I can take this blue board off and I can take this white board off. So all that wood and all that cutting out for 50p. And if I turn it over this way, you can see it's all been screwed on. A little crudely so that's not going to be a problem to take back off and then i've got such a lot of craft material there so i love that and also I mean this texture it's absolutely gorgeous so i won't be changing any of that i don't think i may 
darken the rest of the wood. I'm not sure yet. Right, moving on. The next thing I got, back to frames, I know, but these were 25p each. So I got these two, which are deep box frames for deep setting photos and memorabilia. And they're from Hobbycraft. You can take the back off and take this out. And they are seven by and a half by seven and a half centimetres. Never been used, but they got some scratches. That's not a problem because they're not staying black. At the moment, I don't quite fancy black frames, so I'll be changing the colour on those. But again, 25p, definitely coming home with me. And in the same 25p box, I had these. Oops, pop those down there. Now this is... Oh, I thought it was a cross stitch. It's not. If I show you, if I hold it up to the camera there, it's like, I'm not sure what you'd call that stitch. A V-stitch, possibly? But it's really, oh, the colour has faded out. So that looks aged already. So that's going to be so beautiful to use. I mean, they're not high quality frames, you know, they're cardboard and plastic. But we can make that look different, can't we? <laughs> it's amazing what a little bit of paint can do in the hands of a crafter. And I don't know, I, I can leave this like this and just age the frame a little bit. Or just doll the frame up a bit. Or I could take that out and use it elsewhere. But it's such a, a a particular shape. I'd be struggling to use that elsewhere. So it may stay in the frame. Aha! What I can do... I'm going off point again, sorry. Is I could put a frame, for instance this frame, with the backing of burlap. Ooh. And then pop that in the middle there. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, oh, well, that started me now. I want to craft. I want to craft and I mustn't. I've got to finish this video. So I'll pop these down out of the way and I'll show you this, which is tapestry work. Now, they've done this in the same way. I always do tapestry with the stitching all going the same direction, but they've gone opposite directions. So it almost looks like plaiting, doesn't it? Or knitting, I suppose. Stocking stitch knitting. So it's a house, a cottage with some blue flowers um, and identify. Oh, wait a minute. They could be irises. Yep, we'll go for irises. Cheap frame again. So I can use this the same way as using the other one. Oh, if I got a bigger frame. No, I was going to say I could put them side by side. But I think they're different. The styles are completely different. So that wouldn't work. But I definitely like the frame in frame idea. Hmm. Right, that's got me thinking. <laughs> put them down out of the way. Remove the distraction. Next, I've got my staple. If I'm not buying frames, I'm buying candlesticks. They make brilliant risers. And I had these. Easy to one pound for the pair. Now, I don't like the look on them. It's all down to individual taste, but they're not for me. Oh, the barcode says small candlestick woodlands hand painted. So I'm probably going to paint over the top, or I could even, if I, I to the side of me, I've got my drawer and I may be able to find something that's wide enough. Oh, excuse me, I will be back. There we go. It's not wide enough, but I could just put some burlap around there and keep the colours. Imagine if that was a little bit thicker. Hmm, I don't know. What would you do if you had these candlesticks? Would you put something around the middle like that? Or would you go for completely painting them? I think I'm going to completely paint them and then use them in a project, either for low risers or I can pop that on there and I've got a high riser. If I take that off there, I could always, if I had, oh, a flat item, not a tub of ribbon, and then put my little bird on. I could even make a nest and my bird could be in a nest on a riser. Oh, yes, I like that idea. Even, even, we could put the two risers like that, so it's much taller. And I need a bit of height in the middle. No, I'll just hold it. And then that would be on there. And then the bird will be on top in a nest. Oh, now can you imagine what that would look like all painted up? Mmm, I'd probably paint these a brown and try and make some sort of wood effect on them. And then I probably would paint the bird, I think. I'm not sure. I would check first and see what it looked like on the brown before I changed the colour. 
I may paint it cream. I may leave it white. Give it a good wash. It needs a good wash. It's rather grubby. Right, moving on, moving on. I am terrible for getting distracted. Right, and now I've got to show you this. And I think you're going to love this. Let's move that out of the way. It's dirty. I have to warn you that it is very grubby. And there's the top. So what do you think that is? It's a bit of a giveaway because there's the handle and there's the spout. It's a teapot, short and stout. So let's wow. turn it up. Look at that. I absolutely love this. Now the lid isn't going to stay on. It's in perfect condition, but it's one of those, pop it there and drop it down and it's a bit rattly. So I pop that over there and you can see, this has been in somebody's kitchen and all the grease has landed on it and the dust has stuck to the grease. It needs a really thorough clean. If I show you inside, I don't know if you can see, where would we go? There? No, there. It's never been used as a teapot. Now, I like it, but I am wondering whether to, because I don't like this offset, I think they're trying to make it look like the clock face is sticking out and it's not working. So I'm thinking of perhaps putting a new clock face on here, either when I take off another clock or a printable. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do, but I think that's gorgeous. First thing I'm going to do is give it a thorough wash. A good soak in some lovely hot soapy water, clean all this off, and I think it'll look much better then. But how much did I pay for this? Well, the shop said everything in the bric-a-brac was half price. And I've been looking at it and thinking, mm, I don't know, even if that's half price, it's probably still going to be very expensive. Shall I ask or shall I not? Mm, perhaps I won't bother. And then I thought, no, I've got to ask. <laughs> I can't resist it. I've got to ask. And this was my price. You've guessed it. One pound. Look at that. Now it is in the make, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And it's not only gorgeous, but it's got potential. So I can put it like that. I really, this bothers me. I don't like that looking like that. I can see the point. If you look there, they put like shadows as if this is all sticking out. But for me, that hasn't worked. So I will be doing something with the face. But that I think is lovely for a pound. So £10 there or thereabouts. Slightly more or slightly less. I'm not quite sure. And I've got plenty to be going on with. Oh, let's put that down there. And then I know it's not going to fall. Oh, we put our little puppy there as well. Should we put puppy there? Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, let's put a rabbit as well. Let's have a party. Let's have a bird as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And it really helps to spread my videos to lots of other people. And they can all get to join in the fun of seeing what I got at the thrift store. I just love shopping for thrifted items, especially ones that I can do something with, with a little bit of paint, a little bit of effort, a little bit of glue, and turn them into something even better. I'll see you all next time. But until then... Oh, before I go, I will say, if you really enjoy these haul videos, if you look up there, uh, there, I'll put a link to a playlist that's got lots of other thrift videos on too. So you can see other things I bought at different times because I generally put out a thrifting video once a week and they'll all be in that. Very difficult to point. They'll all be in that playlist. So I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget... Have fun. Bye.